Hey guys, ever wondered how to scrape the treasure chest of Facebook comments for your own use? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the art of scraping Facebook comments using a blend of nifty tools. But here's the kicker. While it might sound complex, we'll show you how to do it with just a few clicks and some automation magic. Stick around because by the end, you'll be a comment scraping wizard and who doesn't want that on their resume? So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales, automation, and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here, it's designed to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for even more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. So why scrape Facebook comments? Think about it. You ever see a post blowing up, packed with goldmine comments, insights, leads, even complaints that you could use? Now imagine pulling all of that data automatically without having to manually copy and paste it like it's 2005. That's what we're doing today. I'll show you how to set up a system that scrapes Facebook comments using Google Sheets, Appify, and Make.com. No coding, no headaches, just a super efficient workflow that does the heavy lifting for you. First, we need a place to store everything, so let's set up Google Drive. Open your drive, and if you don't already have a folder for this, click New on the left, and then Folder, and name it Facebook Scraping. Keep it simple. Inside this folder, we're going to create a Google Sheet. Right-click, hit Google Sheets, and name it Facebook Post Comments. This is where all the scrape data will go. Now, inside the sheet, we need to prep the first column. Click on A1, and name it Posts all lowercase, no spaces. This is where we'll post the URLs of the Facebook posts that we want to scrape. These can be new links or ones from previous scrapes. If you've already got another sheet tracking posts, you can link them up later for better organization, but for now, we're keeping it simple. Next, look down at the bottom where you see the little tabs, click the plus sign to add a new sheet, name it data so it's easy to recognize later. Now we need to set up the columns. Pick on the first cell in column A and name it Post URL. This is where we'll store the links to the posts that we're scraping from. Next, move to column B and name it Comment Date. This is the log when each comment was made, which is super useful if you're tracking engagement over time. Column C, that's Commenter URL. This is the direct link to the Facebook profile of the person who left the comment. Right next to it in column D, name it commenter name because obviously we want to know who's saying what. Column E is for commenter text. This is where we capture the actual comment. And finally, column F will be likes to track how much engagement each comment is getting. All right, now that we've got a clean and structured sheet ready for all the scraped data, let's move on to the fun part, getting the data. For that, we're using Appify. If you're not familiar with Appify, it's basically an automation powerhouse that lets you scrape data from websites without writing a single line of code. It's like hiring a virtual assistant to do all the tedious work, except you don't have to worry about them asking for a raise. So let's go to appify.com. If you don't already have an account, sign up, it's free to start, and they even give you $5 of credit each month, which is plenty for testing. Once you're in, look at the left side menu. There's a section called Store. Click on that. This is where all the scraping tools called actors live. In the search bar at the top, type Facebook post comment scraper and hit enter. The first option you'll see is usually the one by Easy API and that's the one we want. Click on it. Now let's take a quick look at the actors page. You'll see a description of what it does, a pricing breakdown, and a free trial period of about one or two days. After that, it costs around $20 per month, depending on how much data that you need to scrape. But like I said, new users get $5 in free credit every month, so you can test this out without spending anything. Now, scroll down to the input section. This is where we tell the scraper what to do. You'll see a box where you can manually add Facebook post URLs. 
So let's grab a Facebook post to test it out. Head over to Facebook, find a post that you want to scrape comments from. It could be anything, a viral meme, a news update, or even one of your own posts that you want to track engagement. Once you've found the post, click on the timestamp, the, the part that says when it was posted, like two hours ago or yesterday at 5 p.m. That will open a post on its own page. Now look at the top of your browser's address bar, copy that URL, and head back to Appify. In the Appify Facebook comments scraper, find that section that says Facebook post URLs and paste the link in there. Now let's decide how many comments we actually want. If you're just testing, set it to 20 so we don't overload things right away. But if you want the full picture, you can leave it blank to scrape everything. Once that's set, it's time to run the scraper. Click Save and Start. If Appify asks you to rent the actor, just confirm and hit Save and Start again. Now grab a coffee, check your email, or just sit back. This part does take a couple minutes. Once it's done, head over to the Run page and click on the Output tab. Here's where you'll see all the scraped comments, complete with names, timestamps, and likes. If everything looks good, we're ready to automate this so we never have to do it manually again. And that's where make.com comes in. If you've never used make.com before, think of it like a smart assistant that connects different apps and automates workflows without needing to know a single line of code. In our case, we're going to set it up so that every time we add a new post URL to our Google Sheet, Make.com automatically scrapes the comments and stores them for us. So let's get started. First, log into Make.com. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and sign up. It's free to start. Once you're in, look at the left side menu and click on Scenarios. If this is your first time here, you'll see a blank page. No worries though, we're about to change that. Click on the button in the top right corner that says Create a New Scenario. And name your scenario something obvious like Facebook post comments scraper. This way you don't forget what it does later. Next, let's add our first module. Click on the big plus sign in the middle of the screen. A search bar will pop up, type in Google Sheets, then select it. Next, choose search rows as the action. This is what will monitor our sheet for new Facebook post URLs. If you haven't connected Google Sheets yet, you'll see an option to connect Google Sheets or add a new connection. Click that, a window will pop up asking you to sign into your Google account. Make sure you're signing into the same Google account that has the Facebook post comment spreadsheet. Otherwise, you'll spend five minutes wondering why nothing's showing up. Once you're signed in, it'll ask you to select the spreadsheet. If you don't see it right away, use the search bar and type in Facebook post comments. That's the one we created earlier. Select it, and for the sheet name, choose sheet one. So this is the default unless you renamed it something else. Now, before we move on, click the Save button to lock in your settings. No one wants to go through all of that again just because they forgot to hit Save. All right, now that Google Sheets is connected, it's time to set up Appify inside Make.com. Click on the big plus sign again and add a new module. In the search bar, type Appify and select Run an Actor. Next, we need to connect Appify to Make.com. If you haven't done this before, Click Add to create a new connection. A window will pop up asking for an API token. Now, here's where people usually get stuck. So let's make this simple. Click the link that make.com provides. That will take you to the API and integrations in Appify. There you'll see your personal API token. Click Copy, head back to make.com, paste the token into the API token field, and hit Save. Boom, Appify is now connected. Now, let's select the right actor. In make.com, click the actor dropdown and find Facebook post comment scraper by Easy API. If you don't see it, type it into the search bar. It should pop up right away. Select it. Now we need to configure how this runs. There's an option called run synchronously. Set this to yes. This means that make.com will wait for Appify to finish scraping before moving on to the next step. If you set this to no, it'll run in the background, which sounds cool, but could cause issues if we're trying to send the scraped data somewhere immediately. So yes, keep this on yes for now. All right, now let's set up the input data. Go back to Appify and open the Facebook comments scraper actor page. You'll see two buttons, manual and JSON. Click on the JSON button, a pop-up box, will show a bunch of code. Don't worry, you don't need to understand all of it. 
Just highlight everything, right click, select copy. Now switch back to make.com and find the section where we need to paste it. Instead of just hitting paste, use paste and match style. This makes sure that the formatting is correct. And trust me, skipping this step can sometimes add weird spaces or characters that will break the setup. All right, now let's make this dynamic. Inside the JSON code that you just pasted, look for the part where there's a placeholder URL next to the URL. It's probably something like a sample Facebook post link. Delete that and instead click on the little plus icon next to the field and select the posts column from the Google Sheets data. This means that instead of always scraping the same post, it will grab whatever new post URL gets added to our sheet. Now, before we move on, click save. If you've ever lost progress because you forgot to save, you know why this step is important. Next, we need to get the scraping results from Appify. Click on the plus sign in make.com to add a new module, search for Appify, and select the get data set items action. This module will fetch all the scrape comments from Appify after the scraper finishes running. Now, we need to connect it to the right data set. Scroll down in the module settings until you find the dataset ID field. Click on it and you should see a default dataset ID that Appify assigned to this actor. Next, let's set a limit. Right now, let's keep it to 20 items so we're not overloading things while testing. Later, you can set the limit up to 100,000 items if you want to scrape everything. Once that's done, click Save. Now comes the fun part, testing the whole thing. Click Run Once and add a fresh Facebook post URL to your Google Sheet. Watch as make.com picks it up, sends it to Appify, scrapes the comments, and pulls them back into make.com. If everything is set up correctly, you should have comments being scraped and pulled into make.com. But next, we need to send them back to Google Sheets. Click the plus sign again to add another module, search for Google Sheets, and select the Add a Row action. This tells make.com to send every new comment from Appify straight into our spreadsheet. Now we need to select the right sheet. Choose the spreadsheet from our Facebook scraping folder and make sure it's pointing to the one that we name Facebook post comments. And for the sheet name, select data, since that's where we're storing everything. Now, make.com will ask which columns to fill. This part's easy. Just match them to the scrape data from Appify. Find post URL and select the matching field from Appify. This makes sure that every comment stays linked to the post that it came from. Next, map comment date to the timestamp field from Appify so we know exactly when each comment was made. For commenter URL, select the profile link field and this will help if you ever want to go back and check on who left the comment. Then match commenter name to the username field so you can see exactly who's engaging the post. For comment text, make sure it's pulling in the actual comment text. Otherwise, you might end up with a spreadsheet full of blank cells, which is not exactly helpful. And finally, map likes to the reaction count. This will show how much engagement each comment got. Once everything's matched up, click Save. This locks in the settings so that every time the automation runs, the data is flowing into the right place automatically. Now, let's do a final test run. Click Run Once in Make.com and watch as the process kicks in. Appify scrapes the comments, Make.com grabs them, and Google Sheets fills up with fresh data. If everything looks good, the last step is to schedule the automation so you don't have to run it manually every time. In Make.com, look for the scheduling options. You can set it to run daily, every hour, or even every few minutes if you want real-time updates. If you're scraping a high volume post, running it every hour makes sense. But if it's just occasional research, once a day is probably enough. Once that's set, click activate and you're officially done. And that's it. You've just mastered the art of scraping Facebook comments like a pro. So get ready to use this system for all of your data gathering needs. It's simple, it's powerful, and now you've got it all set up. If you run into any issues or need more help, leave a comment below, I'll be happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more easy to follow automation tips. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below and inside you will find exclusive templates 
resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people ready to help you succeed. Plus, the exact template that we use today is in there, so don't miss it. Oh, and before you click away, here's a video you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with automation. I'll see you there.